Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. How many of you guys have games, programs on DVDs? You go to install it, it takes forever to install. Over here we have Pro Tools 8, and it's about 8 gig. And the install could take a while, especially if you have an older DVD drive. I was reading online, some people were having issues installing it, skipping files, just was not working. So I'm going to show you what I did on my computer. It works perfectly fine, and you don't have to wait long at all. The installation is quick and fast. Now, my DVD drive had no problems installing this, but the waiting time just sucked. So check it out. Here we go. All right, guys. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. You're going to insert the DVD. Once you insert the DVD, we're going to check it out. You see this one's 7.94 gigabytes. So we're going to need a couple of things for this to work. One of my favorite softwares that I like to use, Image Burner. So you guys probably guessed it by now. What we're going to do is we're going to take the Pro Tools 8 software and we're going to make an ISO image. We're going to put it into one of my external drives. So here's what we're going to do. When you open Image Burner, you're going to go to Mode. You're going to go to Read. Give it a second. There we go. Pro Tools Ali. And over here, you're just going to select Read. This might take some time. You're going to cut down on the load time. And some of you guys that are having errors trying to install Pro Tools, this might help you. No guarantee. So what I'm going to do, I already had did this before. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to show you the complete image. I actually have it on my network drive. It's the same thing, 7.94 gigabytes. What you're going to do, there's a piece of software called Virtual Clone Drive. It creates a virtual drive on your computer. Now let me go to my computer. Over here we have the virtual drive, and over here we have my internal drive. As you can see, Pro Tools 8 is inserted. What I'm going to do, I'm going to eject it. Okay, take it out the drive. Now going back to the image. Now I want to mount that image, so I'm going to right click. Once you have Virtual Clone installed, over here you're going to see mount. You're going to mount. I'm going to minimize. Look at that. See, there we go. You see, it's the exact same thing. Now, if you were to install it, I'm not going to install it, guys, because I already have it installed. The installation time is going to cut down so much because it's coming from one of your drives. The transfer rates are a lot faster, so it definitely helps. Anyway, guys, I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. I was reading on forums, people having issues, people wondering how to cut down on the installation time. Almost forgot to mention, guys, in the bottom bar, there's going to be links. Go check them out. You're going to have virtual clone drive and image burner. They're free downloads. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Ray. I'm out of here. Later, guys.